My name is Colin Schmidt. Mon nom est Robert Vacassi. Moi, Wang Jinfeng. Jennifer Buckingham. Glenn Whitener. And I am. I am. Cabot. Cabot. Cabot Microelectronics. My expertise at that time was all chemistry. So as a research associate, my job was to do all the experimentation and offer feedback to the scientists on those experiments to identify what worked and what didn't work with these different combinations of chemistry. The idea is with the CMP slurry, you don't want the chemistry to react unless it's by design. So um, particle treatment is part of a chemical reaction. Even though it's ionic bonding, it's not chemical bonding uh, per se. It's charge association. Um, that helps with colloidal stability. Every other chemical that we put in the slurry, we want it to be uh, by itself until it's ready to do the CMP step, the chemical mechanical polishing. But my job now is to make sure that those chemistries only react as far as we want them to in terms of their purpose in the slurry. So from the standpoint of uh, robustness of a slurry, we have shelf life that we have to worry about. We don't want to have a slurry that has a very short shelf life. It's not shippable. It's not manufacturable. Once you find uh, a company that uh, takes care of its employees to the point that, not so much from just a corporate level, but it's an emotional level. Um, and CMC has a spark that uh, it would be very difficult for me to walk away from. I work with the customers when, when something's not working the way it's supposed to. I'm kind of the, the front line. I get tossed in there to figure out what's going on. My name is Mark Maxim. Um, I'm a senior product applications engineer here at CMC. I've been here about uh, 15 years. Had a lot of uh, experience both working with slurries in-house and traveling around the world visiting customers to troubleshoot problems in the field, um, help with new product introductions, and um, really make sure that our products are being used in the best possible manner so we get the best possible performance. I can look at how they're you know, taking the slurry out of a drum, putting it into their system, blending it, diluting it, adding chemical to it, and then how it's pumped throughout the fab to get to the polishers where they actually do the polishing. By using my experience, I can say, you know, there are certain things that work well, there are certain things that work well under certain circumstances, and there are certain things that just don't work well at all. And by, you know, passing that information on to our customer, along with the, the details and the data that backs it up, it helps them to really fine tune their system so they have the smallest number of problems possible. It's a rewarding experience, especially when you can fix something. You get to walk out of there and you know that you just did a lot of good. I'm responsible for purchasing direct materials that go into our PADS products. And previously I worked on the indirect materials side, buying um, all of the items that we need to operate our business. So things that don't go into our products, but that are used in the business, like office supplies, landscaping contracts, those kinds of things. I also am responsible for wafers, which are the silicon wafers that are used for polishing with our slurry. And um, we use those in our R&D group, so I'm responsible for purchasing the wafers and working with our R&D teams to identify our specific wafer needs. The best thing about my job is that I get to interact with people on a daily basis that outside of the company, I probably never would have the opportunity. We work with scientists and research and development folks who are working on things that um, are really going to change the lives of people and everyday products. Um, so it's great to work with them and get a feel for what they do and how different it is from my role, but be able to see how sourcing can support their activities. You know, today we were uh, working on an issue right now for um, the tax department and uh, the treasury department. So they could spend maybe like a couple of days trying to graph all the information, put it into an Excel spreadsheet, and <clears throat> then, you know, do the formatting that uh, the tax authority needs and you know provide that report but instead of spending all you know like that week of uh, manual work they came up to us and they said you know is there any way that you can help us to make this process faster so we create a report for them and we, right now we just have to execute it and provide it provide it to them so it's actually making the process to be more efficient so we save them maybe like um, four days of work and we just did it in 20 minutes so that's what we do. <laughs> I'm Laura Ortega. I am Jennifer Buckingham. Mark Maxim. My name is Colin Schmidt, and I am Cabot Microelectronics.